Now for an update on this. Uh, it's a lot different than when you've seen it last. I put a new box on it. One that isn't completely mangled. Uh, it's got a little bit of rot, but nothing too bad. Then I painted the whole truck. Uh, just spray paint so it's not perfect, but you know, neither is a truck, so it kind of fits it. Uh, not much else happened with this. Can't remember if I showed you. I pulled the motor out a while ago. And uh, just gave it a paint job. Made it look a little bit better. But it's not running very good right now. Uh, just a lot of small issues with the motor, carburetor, uh, gas tank as you can see. So, uh, yeah, it's not running the best, but I have plans to change that. And that's when this bad boy comes in. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of spray painted and destroyed. I had some fun with it. Uh, what you can see though is there's three pedals over there, so it was a five speed. Uh, I drove this home a week ago, believe it or not. I pulled the motor out, which is mostly going to be used for parts, as it the truck has high miles, so I don't want to run this motor, although it did run pretty decent, just worn out. Going to take the plan is to take all the TBI stuff off, cut up uh, the harness that came off of it, and put TBI on it. So uh, we'll see how far that goes. I am for sure, though, going to use that bell housing and this transmission and put it in there. Uh, as you can see, it's a five speed, it's an NV4500. Uh, pretty bolt proof tranny. And. Uh, uh, it's got overdrive, which the four-speed in there currently does not have overdrive, so that's going to be awesome. Uh, from what I hear, I know it's going to bolt up to the motor because it's all you know Chevy 350, and uh, from what I hear, the, my transfer case should bolt up to the back of there, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So the only other thing to do is uh, probably have to move the cross member a little bit and then figure out how to get a hydraulic hydraulic clutch in there is uh, that one's all manual so we'll see how that goes um, yeah that should be interesting that'll be way nicer uh, there's a couple advantages on that tranny over the what's in there now the SM465 uh, the big one's overdrive this one has overdrive the one out there does not the second one is this one has, uh, it's just a lot smoother shift. It's not, you know, super spread out or far away, like spread between the gears on the one in the truck now. And then the third reason is it's just a lot easier um, to shift. Uh, it goes in the gear way smoother. Uh, so yeah, I'm really excited to get this in here. Uh, really excited. I. Uh, just can't wait to get it in there and it shouldn't be too hard to get going so once I finish tearing this apart and scrap it that will be coming in here next and we'll be putting in this tranny so I'll probably get you guys a video on that uh, and show you how to do it um, so yeah that's that uh, the rest of this truck is I tore out pretty much what I wanted there's a few, few things left to rip out such as that clutch pedal and slave cylinder and whatnot, um, starter and just some minor stuff. And then uh, there is a gooseneck plate, which I'm going to steal too. And uh, that's going in that truck, which I'll show you next. So that's uh, that. That's the update. I'll make uh, probably a mini series on putting this tranny in there. So you guys can uh, be on the lookout for that soon. But yeah, that's that. Thanks for watching.